We are going to tell you what diode is. A diode is a device which only allows unidirectional flow of current if operated within a rated specified voltage level. We said within a rated specified voltage level because diode only blocks current in the reverse direction. while the reverse voltage is within a limited range. Otherwise, reverse barrier breaks and the voltage at which this breakdown occurs is called reverse breakdown voltage. The diode acts as a valve in the electrical and electronic circuit. A PN junction is the simplest form of the diode which behaves as ideally short circuit when it is in forward biased. And behaves as an ideal open circuit when it is in the reverse biased. The symbol of a diode is shown here. The arrowhead points in the direction of the conventional current flow. A simple PN junction diode can be created by doping donor impurity in one portion and acceptor impurity in the other portion of a silicon or germanium crystal block. These make a PN junction at the middle portion of the block besides which one portion is P-type, which is doped by trivalent or acceptor impurity, and other portion is N-type, which is doped by pentavalent or donor impurity. Hence, it is a device to element. The P-type forms anode, and the N-type forms the cathode. These terminals are brought out to make the external connections. Let us discuss the working principle of diode. The N side will have a large number of electrons and very few holes due to thermal excitation. whereas the P-side will have a high concentration of holes and very few electrons. Due to this, a process called diffusion takes place. In this process, Free electrons from the N side will diffuse or spread into the P side and combine with the holes present there, leaving positive immobile ions in the N side. Hence, some atoms on the P side adjacent to junction are converted into negative ions. Similarly, Due to diffusion of electrons from N side to P side, there will be lack of electrons in some atoms on the N side adjacent to the junction. And as a result, these atoms on the N side adjacent to junction will get converted to positive ions. Due to this, a large number of positive ions and negative ions will accumulate on the N side and P side respectively. This region so formed is called a depletion region. Due to the presence of these positive and negative ions, a static electric field called barrier potential 
is created across a PN junction of the diode. It is called a barrier potential because it acts as a barrier and opposes the further migration of holes and electrons across the junction. In a PN junction, when the forward voltage is applied, that is positive terminal of a source is connected to the P-type side and the negative terminal of the source is connected to the N-type side, the diode is said to be in forward biased condition. We know that there is a barrier potential across the junction. This barrier potential is directed in the opposite of the forward applied voltage. So a diode can only allow current to flow in the forward direction when forward applied voltage is more than barrier potential of the junction. Voltage at which the forward current just starts to flow is called forward biased voltage and it is equal to the barrier potential. For silicon diode, it is 0.7 volts. For germanium diode, it is 0.3 volts. When forward applied voltage is more than this forward biased voltage, there will be forward current in the diode and the diode will become short circuited. Hence, there will be no more voltage drop across the diode beyond this forward biased voltage. And forward current is only limited by the external resistance connected in series with the diode. Thus, if forward applied voltage increases from zero, the diode will start conducting only after this voltage reaches just above the barrier potential or forward biased voltage of the junction. Now if the diode is reverse biased, that is positive terminal of the source is connected to the N type end and the negative terminal of the source is connected to the P type end of the diode, there will be no current through the diode except reverse saturation current. This is because at the reverse biased condition, the depilation layer of the junction becomes wider with increasing reverse biased voltage. Although there is tiny current flowing from N type end to P type end in the diode due to minority carriers. This tiny current is called reverse saturation current. Minority carriers are mainly thermally generated electrons and holes in P type and N-type semiconductor respectively. Now reverse applied voltage across a diode and continually increase it, then after certain applied voltage, the depletion layer will be destroyed, which will cause a huge reverse current to flow through the diode. If this current is not externally limited, and it reaches beyond the safe value, the diode may be permanently destroyed. This is because, as the magnitude of the reverse voltage increases, the kinetic energy of the minority charge carriers also increases. These fast-moving electrons collide with the other atoms in the device to knock off some more electrons from them. The electrons so released further release much more electrons from the atoms by breaking the covalent bonds. This process is termed as carrier multiplication and leads to a considerable increase in the flow of current through the PN junction. The associated phenomenon is called avalanche breakdown.
That is why we already said the current can be blocked by a diode when the applied reverse voltage is less than a rated or specified voltage. This specified voltage is less than the voltage at which avalanche breakdown occurs. This is the basic theory of diode. Thank you. Thank you.